Hi everyone, uh, I'm Jeko Kovacevic and today I'm doing also another request video and it is about uh, sending emails. Actually I'll show you uh, the most uh, complicated uh, case and that is uh, when using Gmail accounts uh, to send mail. Why is it so uh, complicated? Well, uh, because if you want to use Gmail uh, SMTP uh, you also need to protect uh, the connection with TLS or SSL. Uh, so your message must be encoded, meaning text and attachments. Uh, if you look at uh, information for connection, we can see that uh, requires TLS or SSL and uh, it uses this port. So uh, what I did was actually I added this TID SMTP component. It is required to connect to my uh, email host and that is smtp.gmail.com and I will connect using this username and password information and when connected I need to send mail. Uh, mail is represented by this object here. Okay, so I'll fill this object with email information meaning uh, to who am I sending, what is the subject of the message body, attachments and so on and I'll send it uh, uh, to this host uh, actually to this email and I protect it with this uh, open SSL component. Actually uh, to begin uh, if you want to use uh, SSL first you need to download open SSL for Windows you can google it and you'll find this here complete package uh, you need to install this uh, on your computer and once installed you need to go to, to this pin folder and copy these two DLLs to your C windows or wherever uh, the windows is installed uh, windows folder and once you copy uh, once you copy the, those two files you can actually use this component okay uh, so don't forget about it uh, otherwise you'll get an error message saying cannot load uh, SSL library or, or such. So uh, the first step uh, when sending a mail is uh, that we need to fill this component with uh, host username and password information. So host username and password information is actually read from these edit fields. Okay. Also uh, when this is done uh, we actually now fill the message and that is to whom am I sending what is the subject and body of the message so first I clear everyone this is to who am I sending subject of the message and body of, of the message okay this part is actually used to define I mean to add attachments uh, there are actually a couple of ways to add attachments and I'll use uh, this one, uh, uh, this method, it is uh, relatively new uh, and to use it first in manual you need to uh, add this line to include message builder. Okay, once you've done that you can actually create, uh, you can see here TID message builder uh, and you can uh, create all sorts of uh, objects, attachments, uh, HTML uh, for HTML mail plain mail and such but today, for today's example I'll simply use this plane. So uh, what is the idea? I'll use this object uh, to describe my email meaning these two informations, information and I'll use this object here to edit a content of the email. Okay uh, uh, when I say contact content I mean uh, text of the email and attachments so I say here if any attachment exists then I'll add them all see this is my message object attachments add and I simply add all attachments that are listed in this list box and after adding attachments I need to specify a plain text and that is embodied text so meaning what is written here and uh, after I, I've done that I copy this object object into this TID message okay so this object uh, had only description now when I use this field message uh, now he has 
the contents, uh, content of the message to. Okay, uh, so uh, when everything is defined, so this is actually the most important part. Define uh, email host, username and password information, and then define a message, who are you sending, uh, subject body of the message, and then attachments. Okay, and now I need to connect, and what am I sending? I'm sending this ID message that I've actually that I've been uh, defining all the way. So I'm sending this uh, object. If anything happens, error, and at the end simply disconnect and delete this temporary object. So uh, that is the explanation of uh, these two components. How to set this component? Well, you need to uh, see what port is actually used. Uh, you, you see that uh, this uh, host is used and this port. So, meaning you need to add smtpgmail.com 587 port and in this SMTP component you need to add uh, use require uh, TLS. Okay, uh, default is no TLS support but you need to uh, set it to use required TLS and then you will be able to use your uh, Gmail SMTP account. So let's actually try it. Text. Okay. And uh, I'll send this from this uh, Gmail account using this password information and send email. So as you can see, SSL actually connected and now he's encoding my text and sending to uh, my email account. So as you can see, this is my email, some text. So I'll add attachments. For example, I'll add this. So in this case, my text was encoded and each of the attachments was also encoded. And here you see, that is second mail that it used attachments.